Hello, everybody, and welcome or welcome back to Brotato, the Arena Survival Action Roguelike Kit. So, but modded though, because we're going to be checking out Pad Mods once again. It adds a whole bunch of new characters and items to go with them. Today, we're going to be checking out Catato. <laughs> Eight hits are nullified every wave. 1% crit chance for every 2% dodge. Luck modifications are up by 50%. Speed modifications are up by 25%. But you can't equip ranged weapons. You can never gain health. And you have minus 10 harvesting, just on top of things. Uh, it's obviously begging for a, um, a critical weapon. I kind of want to go for, like, a thief stagger, just because it's different, right? That sounds right. Uh, we'll, we'll go for that for now. Oh, look at the little tail we got in there. Uh, but yeah, so generally it just seems like, um, you know, kind of a don't get hit character, largely. We're going to need lots of dodge. Uh, we're going to need to go glass cannon, which is going to be a little bit of a weird thing to do with thief stagger. But I think the weapon got a slight buff at one point. I can't quite recall. Armor is going to be irrelevant. Max HP is going to be irrelevant. HP regen, lifesteal. Like there's a lot of stats that completely mean nothing. So that's honestly a, a good thing, right? You know, never having to ever think about those stats is kind of a benefit. You know, we get so many free hits and that basically acts as our survivability. Um, you know, we're not going to want to test it or really find out how close we are, but, uh, you know, we'll see. We will freaking see. The thing with Thief Stagger as well, like, I was going to say the addition of, I mean, it's, it's true. Ooh, I'll get some luck. But the addition of um, Tentacle is fantastic for Thieves Dagger. It's true, but irrelevant today for the reason I will let you find out. You know, just what, what do you think? Oh, we, we could actually, yeah, I was going to say, we could greed this. We could get a common. Just because the unique setup of getting a blue in shop three, it lets you, you know, have the chance to find that common. You can't get two of the exact same weapon of the exact same tier, but you can get the exact same weapon if it's of a different tier. Uh, but holy moly, I looked off to see if we had any kind of like things I need to close because we're getting some frame droppage. Ooh boy. But yeah. Thief Stagger, it's a fun weapon to play with. But it's also a little bit wild. Let me close some tabs. Alright. Speed is something. Range is something. Crit chance is good. I do want to fix up that harvest thing at some point, obviously. But just happy to get all these darn weapons. We get crit chance for taking them. 38%. We get a little bit of money sometimes when we get a critical kill. Certainly will be tagged for crit or dodge. At the very least, we're going to be tagged for dodge, right? Bare minimum. I'm going to want dodge anyways. Ow. There's one nullify. Ooh, boy. Please, please. Yeah, the damage is already starting to, to fail here for us. Absolutely, we take that. You know, let's just take some dodge. Another Thief Stagger's good. Uh, defective. It would just be it for the flat. Attack speed and range. Like, we could argue for Gummy Berserker for sure. There we go. But yeah, now we have positive harvesting. Fixes things up a little bit there. Goes a long way to fix a negative harvesting if it's, like, not too far under. Okay, 44 crit on this, so we get uh, 49 at Epic, and we get 54 at Legendary. We got a little bit of a ways to go, but we can also just... The thing is, we can get it via dodge. 60 dodge. If we get ourselves dodge cap, that's... I mean, well, I guess that's 30, 30 crit. But that's something I want to do anyways, right? That, and I wouldn't mind... Um, I wouldn't mind repost. Love of God, let's get some flat. Yep, yep, yep. There's an argument for going just for a bunch of fists because you get the dodge. Get the free dodge for getting the set bonus. Oh my 
God. More luck. I mean, a 50% luck modification up is, is pretty fun. Soup. Oh, okay. Look at my little cat, man. What happened to him? Getting the duck face is absolutely strange. Very, very strange. What happened to you, my sweet boy? Ow. That was one nullifier or two? Might have been two. Act like it's two. The thing is, we should always be playing like we don't have any nullifies left, regardless. But, I don't know, you look at that and you're like, one health and you can never get more. Like, yeah, but it's kind of a more generous ghost, if you think about it. It's sort of just... That's a, a lot of nullifies. That's a lot of nullifies. Uh, crit and dodge, I'll take that. There's a real argument. Well, actually, no, there's not, because then we can't get the money from these kills. I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna greet it. It's like a 30% chance at, at a base? What's 56? Oh, 62 chance on kill, on crit kill with this to get material with the purple. Well, I tried. I tried to get down there in time. It is, I will say, no matter what, it's nice to be able to move. We played the Stuck yesterday, and holy crap, I love that I can actually move my character. How novel. Got a dodge. Good. That always will help. All right. The thing is, we don't get iframes on um, nullify triggers, really. Because we didn't technically get... Hit. I'm gonna say no to that right now. No. Uh, yes. 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 Life still stupid. Fine. Get a little bit of range there. Uh, power generator should be good. Like it's not good right now, but it should become good. It's actively harmful for the time being, but. With a character that uh, has a speed boost. Speed boost? Seems logical. We're also starting to do some pretty decent damage. Which is really telling, because this is Thief Dagger. And it has what scaling? 0.5 scaling. So literally, when you crit, you do as much damage as a fist would do by default right now. Whoop. More or less. Okay, okay. Would I take something like a um, rip and tear is kind of like my biggest question for if I would want it right now or not. Because it would kind of ruin our money schemes. This probably would be worth. Yes. Yes. Should probably just take some flat dodge for what it's worth. All right, we're, we're more or less going to get, we're going to get crit capped if we get all the dodge that we're looking for. Still minus two speed on, on this character is a little silly, but I'm working on it, man. It's important to get that money first by getting crit up. When you have thief dagger, you just basically treat it like you already have um, hunting trophies, right? You get a lot of money, you get tons of money. Is it enough to make up for the fact that it's a bad weapon? Probably. It is probably now. Got just like the gentlest nudge of a buff a ways back. And I just remember liking it a lot more. It's a delicate balance to buff something that can absolutely ruin the economy ecosystem when you have it. But I think it feels good. It's in a good spot. And this is a beautiful way for us for money. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Don't know what I have for nullifies left, but I'm going to assume I've got enough. Thank you. Nope. Melee damage, great. 12% damage, sure. Glass cannon. I love that I can just not care. 
I think we could probably get away with Goat Skull. Take Bag and, for the love of God, you meet. Yes. Some speed up. We have plenty of range. Uh, there's Rip and Tear. I did say maybe. It just serves to really steal money from me. I'm in a very greedy way, I'm going to say no. All right, just like that, we do have speed or damage up from uh, our who's it, what's it? It's just crit for 38. Man, the base damage scaling on Thief's Dagger is really good. Which I guess makes up for the fact that the scaling is god awful terrible. Sort of. Sort of, sort of. It's kind of like, it's a pivot out weapon, right? Like, it's not logical that you should really run all in on him, but if you can do it, then you should, right? Like, if your weapon can be Thief's Dagger instead of Normal Dagger and you don't die, then guess what? It was better that you had Thief's Dagger for the most part. Ooh, I don't know what we're at for nullifies. I got no idea what we're at for nullifies. We're fine, but like... No negative dodge right now. There's so many useless stats for us. Which, again, is actually kind of good. All right, same deal. I'm gonna I'm gonna just greed because I think we'll be able to. Sure. Board wave. Uh, I think we'll be able to get crit cap via dodge when good dodge items hopefully start to show up. Copium. Surely it'll happen. All right, but yeah, we like the big waves. Cannot lie. If we live them, we love them. Because they are huge money for me. It's, again, basically like we have um, hunting trophy already. But we do have to live them for us to love them. Okay. Ooh, 13 seconds. We can be a little bit risky. Okay, that was a dodge. Yeah, we're good. Oh my god, look at that money! Again, the, the second we push it a little bit too far, we're we're screwed. And it will be very, very hard to tell when we are close to going too far. Damn for, uh, no, actively stupid for us to take. Banner's gonna be good, though. We can take Scar, then. Piggy Bank. I don't know. Lucky Charm could be fine. Leather Vest, good. Because Dodge is good. Sure, Blindfold. Okay, 53 crits. We're at 93 on our Legendary. Giant Spelt? Crits deal an extra 10% of an enemy's current health. I'll tell you what, sure. <laughs> it's just okay. Tardigrade is great finds. Now we have 10 lives. Ooh. Good deal. Spoilers for the Puss in Boots movie. I don't know. I haven't seen it. That's just... I'm kidding. If I spoiled it, sorry. It was a guess. Uh... But let's be real. We nullified once. We, we should be... We should be having a pretty darn good time here. I would absolutely adore a hunting trophy sooner than later. I've been getting crowned very early, very often. But, like... I don't want I don't want to just always be taking crown. Like there's nothing wrong with it. It fits on pretty much any run, but I don't want to have to feel like I go harvesting because then it gets kind of messy. Ooh boy. Ooh boy. Nope, irrelevant. Flat melee huge for us. Definitely love that. Insanity, I think we can pass. I think we'll just be fine. Improved tools could be fun, but I'm just not gonna. Another tardigrade, I'll take it. Are we tagged for it or something? Shoop, 
Shoop, shoop, shoop, shoop, shoop. Let's just say how much we've gained. Materials gained 518. Pretty good. Pretty darn good. What did it cost? I mean, you know, when we crit, we do as much damage as a normal knife about, meaning a critical from a knife with the three or four times crit multiplier is going to be doing a large amount. So what did we, what did we sacrifice really? You know, like the potential of doing maybe four times as much damage. We could probably be doing three to four times as much damage right now. And that's not even like that much of a stretch. But I'm scaling, baby. I'm scaling. By doing it this way, we also are more likely to have more money to buy all the dodge we need, to buy some good like attack speed, some like utility aspects like that. Flat is going to be really nice right now. Percent's good. No percent attack speed. I will take propeller hat. Hedgehog, I love, love that we can take it without even thinking about it. Mastery's great. Again, those luck-based damage items aren't bad. They're not. They're really, really not bad. I just don't care today. I would rather get more money. I'd rather get more money to have exactly the caddest of builds than to basically turn it into bona fide different lucky. You know? Because I don't... I don't know. Like, the luck... You can see that 50% luck mod, like modifier and say, oh, okay, well, that's a build. It's like, yeah, it is. That's certainly a way you can play the cat, but you might as well just play lucky then. Ow. This is another horde wave. This is going to be scary. Horde wave plus hosts. Not good for us. Basically, waves where we can get hit by lots of tiny things are bad. Uh-oh. 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 I want to get to the money. Let me get to the money. I risked a lot there. Uh, Q Monkey is actually irrelevant. I I don't think I need the crit. I think we'll we'll get there. We will we will get there. Uh, hey, handcuffs. I'll take it. Whatever. There's another rip and tear. If we get hit, guess what? We're dead anyway. Gambling token is something I've been looking for for ages here. Obviously, hoodie would be great today, especially because we we are we'd still be at neutral range, basically. Actually, streamer, you're gonna be at minus one. I know. Basically nothing. Mm -hmm. But I don't think it'll happen. Getting my hoodie two days in a row? I mean, it's actually more possible than I than you would maybe think due to the fact that I can only imagine if this mod has tags on characters like the base game, this character would be tagged for dodge, which the hoodie is also tagged for. So it's not, you know, it's m more likely than, you know, a normal run to find a hoodie. It's kind of like, I feel like I really need to keep track of my nullifies, but I just, ooh, nice. Wow. Wow. But I just don't want to, is what I was going to say. Re Reroll, max HP damage, big arms. Um, it's the, the minus speed is the awkward part there. SD's couch is dumb. Gnome can be not dumb. I don't care that much about pickup range. At the very least, I can drop 20% and it won't really matter. And we got plenty of actual range. We'll still be positive. We'll be like plus 60. 
But crit capped yet? 97. All right, six more dodge, and we are crit capped. Man, I guess we could have taken more. I just... I thought that dodge was going to show up a little bit more than it has on a dodge-focused character. Unlucky. Ultimately, we are totally fine, though. This feels like a pretty easy win, one of the easier wins of the, uh, of the mod, but, you know, you have one health, and it's quite literally... It's, it's a skill-based character in the sense that you have nine hits that you can take, and then you die. So if you get hit more than nine times in a wave, you, you obviously are dead. So it, it's, I don't know, you gotta, <laughs> you gotta dodge. Forehead. Sure, sure. Pickup range would be cool. Padding is irrelevant. Um, there we go. We're crit capped on these. Two luck for every crit you have. That's going to be great. Especially because we probably will go above crit cap. So, like... And normally that would feel weird. But now crit gives us... Um, we'll, crit will give us luck. So, like, as we try and get up towards the uh, the dodge cap of 60, we'll probably go, like, 10, 10 over crit cap. Just on accident. So that will, you know, it won't be a waste. In fact, it could even be good to still take dodge far beyond. If we get the hoodie, oh, that'd be, a, it. now it'd be such a dream because normally the hoodie can go beyond, like dodge becomes valuable beyond cap if you have the hoodie. So then we'd be getting dodge and it would always be useful for attack speed and it would also always be useful for, uh, for crits. And the crit would always be useful for gaining luck. We would gain, oh my god, just so much value from taking dodge. Literally even beyond, we'd be getting dodge, crit, attack speed, and luck. Oh my god, a second big arms? It's a little bit sketchy. I mean, it's we got so much luck at this point. It's not... Unheard of. I mean, I, why would I take this? I would take it for the crit chance and speed. I don't need it. Oh my god, you keep on staring. Whatever. Like, everything is fake. Everything is fake. I mean, we have a million luck. We have so much. We have 200 luck right now, and we're tagged for it. Is it that hard to believe? No, but it is still. I didn't expect it. I've got to be real. I did not expect to find it. But when you have this much luck, good god, you, you probably should find it. Our speed is minus three. We, like, keep on tanking our speed with power generator, though. Or, uh, yeah, power generator. I don't intend to. I don't want to. We should be taking the speed, I guess, when we find it. I just... There's other stats that were more pertinent. How many hits have we taken? I have no idea. But I will tell you, I don't know that we've dodged once. So we're owed one of those. There we go. There it is. Dude, it's, it's actually completely useless. There we go. That fixes a lot. Um... Screw with thine self. Alright. I like this character a lot. I don't know. It's very fun to me. 89. We never got to dodge cap. We're never going to finish getting where we wanted to go. With certain stats, but... I don't think it really matters. I mean, look how much we've got. I mean, we and on top of the fact that we have the um, we have the economy from Thieves Stagger to buy all these legendaries that the luck is giving us, it's it's really nice. Like, I I enjoy this run. 
and then the permission from the character to never buy die or uh, never buy health, never buy armor, never buy life steal, never buy HP regen. The fact that you can completely ignore every single one of those defensive stats and still be able to take nine hits is a benefit. This is almost I would I would almost say it's an easy mode character in that way, if it wasn't you know for the fact that a new player would get absolutely bodied, you know, because you just have a flat amount of hits. The speed there is something. I could just get the crit to finally... Oh my god, I'm, I'm upset. Torture, imagine. Tentacle, I mean, I could take it for the crit. For the two flat. At this point, I'll say sure. Some dodge. Post could be fun. Thief's dagger. Well, at this point, we can get Cyberball. <laughs> we don't need more attack speed anymore. All right, well, we should... Oh, there we go. I don't really want to go up and just take a whole bunch of hits. There we go. But I kind of could. I like that run a lot. Bell Caller, 10% enemies, 10% dodge, minus 20% experience gain. Ooh. I like it. I like it. This is a really good um, late game find. This is an amazing late game find. For specific builds. For this character, obviously, it would be good. For the run we did today, it would be incredible. I really like that. There's not enough experience down items. Are there any? I don't think so. I think it's probably... I guess it's probably because it's just so obviously, like, something to take late game, but I don't know. I think that's fine. It's the inverse of experience up that's so obviously good to take early game. I think that's fine. But, alas, alas, that is that. That is going to do it here for today for Brotato. If you'd be sad to see the series go, you got to let me know in the form of a comment down below. They would watch and check the channel for more every single day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.